When creating a front view, make sure that you have a part file open. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to the add and we're going to come down and select drawing. And now that we've created a drawing sheet, let's go ahead and go down to our section bar and we're going to go to view layout. Within view layout, if we go down here into the action area, we'll find front view. If you don't see it there, go ahead and select a downward arrow and you'll get a menu showing you which command you can use. Here we're going to go ahead and select the front view and now we're going to go back to our part file and I have a choice of selecting the actual surface of our part or I can actually go to the specification tree and select one of the planes as you see here. And if we look over to our right, you'll see that we get an oriented preview from each of the planes I select. In this instance, I'm going to go ahead and select this surface on our part file. We are right away directed back into our drawing within the drafting application. How we can tell is up here to our left, we'll see that we are in the CATIA drafting application. Now over here to the right, we have a compass. This compass allows us to manipulate our drawing or front view by selecting this green circular button and we can click hold and drag with our left mouse button as you can see here. We can also use these arrows that allow us to move as we select on it and we can go backward as well. We can also flip our front view by selecting any of these arrows within the compass. And then when we're finished with what we want for the front view, go ahead and select the center button as shown here. And this is now our front view and it's been converted within our drawing. And that is creating a front view.